Scientists are claiming to have found a new element. Now, what is all this about? A new element? Hmm. The universe is made up of different elements. No, everything in the universe is made up of matter and all matter is made up of atoms. <laughs> yes, you're right. But atoms combine to form elements and compounds. Now you're confusing me. Don't be confused. Let's start with atoms. Okay, I have learned on MakeMeGenius.com that atoms are the smallest invisible particles that make up everything. Very good. Atoms are the smallest unit that retains the property of any element. And they are so small that we need a microscope to see them. You are right. So now let's talk about elements. Okay, I am all yours. Elements consists of only one type of atoms. Hmm? <laughs> let's understand that with an example. Argon is an element found in nature as gas. This is an argon atom. Now many argon atoms roaming close to each other form argon gas or argon element. Okay, so element argon consists of only one type of atoms. Now let's see another element, nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is another element. Its atoms occur in pairs. So, two atoms of nitrogen together form nitrogen element? Yes, many such pairs close to each other form nitrogen gas. Okay, I get it. Elements consist of same type of atoms or molecules. So now, can you name some other elements? Oxygen gas, hydrogen gas and chlorine gas. These are all gases. Can you tell me some solids which can be called elements? Hmm. I will give you some examples. Look at this Sprite can. This can contains rows of aluminium atoms. Aluminium is an element. An element is a simple single material that cannot be broken down into simpler material. Atoms in an element are exactly the same. Each element has a unique symbol consisting of one or two letters. Like aluminium has a symbol AL. Right. Do you remember the party we had last weekend? Which? The barbecue party? <laughs> yes. The charcoal that mum used for the barbecue is made up of carbon atoms. So carbon is also an element and its chemical symbol is C. Very good. Another example. My earrings are made up of gold. Gold is yet another element and its chemical symbol is G. <laughs> no, it's AU from the Latin word for gold, aurum. Oh, okay. Sometimes atoms can join together to form molecules. Many common gases exist as molecules. Like my previous examples, nitrogen, oxygen. They are examples of elements made up of two or more atoms of the same element. Sometimes, atoms of two or more elements combine in a chemical reaction to form compounds. Like, if I mix hydrogen and oxygen. It's not just mixing. A complex process called chemical reaction is required. Okay. Hmm, yes. In air, all the gases like oxygen, nitrogen, etc. coexist as different elements. Okay, so hydrogen and oxygen, when chemically react, form water. Yes, its chemical symbol is H2O. Two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen combine to form water. And water is liquid, unlike hydrogen or oxygen, which are gases. Yes, the properties of a compound are different from those of its elements. Any other example? This common table salt. I guess this is a compound. Yes, made up of two elements, sodium and chlorine.
sodium and chlorine combine by some type of chemical reaction to form salt. Right, sodium chloride. To be precise, one atom of sodium and one atom of chlorine chemically joined make up sodium chloride or common salt. Let me guess its chemical symbol. Na of sodium and Cl for chlorine make it NaCl. Wow, yes. A compound is a brand new material with completely new set of properties. And it does not have the properties of the elements that it is formed of. Yes, common salt is neither shiny like sodium metal or pungent smelling like chlorine gas. And to reverse the process into sodium and chlorine, separating it is not easily possible. Can you tell me an example of something that has both elements and compounds? Hmm. Air. Oh yes, air has elements like nitrogen, oxygen and also compounds like water, vapor and carbon dioxide to name a few. Right. Now that we know so much about elements and gases, can we list the difference between them? That sounds fun. If you reward me at the end. It's a deal. You go first. Elements consist of same type of atoms, whereas compounds are made up of two or more types of atoms that are chemically combined. A compound can be broken into simpler elements using chemical reactions, whereas elements cannot be broken down further. We can form endless compounds, whereas as of now, there are about 117 elements that have been observed. A compound is expressed using a formula, whereas elements are expressed as symbols. Examples of compounds are water, common salt or sodium chloride, sodium bicarbonate, etc. Examples of elements are hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, etc. Now my chocolate. Here it is. I'm loving it.